Hey there guys, Frank Matic here, after another long, sort of unintended ex uh, absence. And I'm doing a game that will probably take me more than one video. Who is that masked man that you can't see right now because it's a screen of text? The Lone Ranger. Complete with the Lone Ranger's awesome theme music. And some awesome horse riding action. This is a pretty interesting little game, and it's fairly tough. And it has some of that hilarious quality Nintendo voice effect. But anyways, let's get this party started. You can use a zapper, but I don't have one handy. So, you'll see what that deals with that later. And now we have some story. A man has returned. A Texas Ranger. Not Walker, though. It's a little before his time. Also, holy shit, some random outlaw just kidnapped the president. He must be a pretty high-level outlaw. I'm pretty sure for cowboys it goes along the range of rustling horses, rustling cattle, train robbing, maybe then president kidnapping. But I don't think that happened a lot. Now, in a fairly surprising show of lack of uh, ability to judge what is more important, we are going to go find a, a horse as opposed to going, you know, save the goddamn president. Supposedly, he was seen in Tucson. Tucson is right here, and this is one of the and this is the second type in the game, not counting the map screen, an overhead view where you can talk to people. I am fine, thank you. You can also go into buildings. Also note, we have regular bullets and silver bullets. Silver bullets are twice as powerful. Or we can just punch people. There's no reason to go into the chain station. Like this guy. Ow. Punching is not really that great. You could buy more bullets in the gun shop, but it's unnecessary. And I have no idea how to respond to your crazy talk, lady. What am I doing here? Well, you see, in order to continue, there is someone I have to talk to in town. So I have to find them. I forget what house they're in. Is it this one? Well, thanks, buddy. That's about as good of a tip as the magic armor is somewhere. <coughs> oh, crap, you have a gun. I just got the shit kicked out of me. Way to go. I should probably go with the doctor. Ah, this is the lady. Yep, yep, the horse is no longer in this town. So, let's go grab a quick heal, since I got a bit more killed than I like. The doctor is kind of a rip-off in terms of 1880s money. I'm sure this is about the time when 50 bucks was like 5,000 bucks this time. But, anyways, let's go south and find that horse. Since the only river is this way. And there he is! He is on the other side of this bridge, though. So, how the horse crossed, I have no goddamn idea, but... Let's go see if this guy will let the bridge down for us. You are in permanent shadow that does not possibly work right. What's up with that? Sure, I'll listen to what you have to say. Uh-huh... Get a letter from the sheriff in Dodge City. Well, okay, I guess. Let's go to Dodge City. I believe this is Dodge City right here. Isn't it fun how I can tell these things? Oh, I walked right back out of town. Way to go, me. But, we got a guy looking to kill us. We got two guys looking to kill us. The people walking around outside, yep, this is Dodge City, rarely have anything worth listening to to say. And rather than screwing around, let's just go talk to the sheriff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't really see why I have any obligation to do this for you, but since I don't have a choice, I guess I will go kill the outlaws for you. After I punch this guy to death. 
Well, anyways, now we need to go complete our little side mission. So yeah, the dude walking around on the uh, map. If you walk into him, like we're gonna have to walk into at least one of them, you go to an outdoor scene. Whoa, whoa. Where you have to just exit the map. But you can also fight off the guys for some extra money. I hope I don't... Ah. Die. I died. Oh, crap. Now do I have to talk to this dude again, or did I already say... No, I saved it to talk to him. This game is very tough, so... And in one of the screen types that hasn't popped up yet... There are very annoying to make jumps that involve going back across like half the level if you miss them. So I am going to try not to miss those jumps too much, but if I miss them I'm just gonna rewind time rather than make you watch me go through the entirety of the level again. Okay, see the star? This means that we got bad guys afoot. And hey, check it out, now we're a side scroller. Everything controls basically the same as it does in the overall map, so if you can't move in 3D. And the object is to get to the end of the level and kill a boss. I know, it's a real shock, right? If you run out of bullets, you're not in good shape. But we also have the silver bullets, which do double damage. And we'll travel through, guys. You can shoot in a couple of directions. It controls pretty well. The only problem is the jumps that are ridiculously pixel perfect to make. Namely, this one, which stymied me a few times in my last play of this level. Hey, I got it. I'm getting better at this. Just about everybody you kill drops money. Yeah. Sometimes people will drop other things, but it's pretty uncommon. Whoa. You can also drop down through these. Most enemies have not earned the, learned the art of duck shooting yet. But I've also noticed that I'm currently just, uh... That I didn't go to the gun shop to buy a gun. The only gun available at the gun shop right now is the short-barreled gun, which you already started with, so there's no point in it. This guy is actually pretty wussy for a boss. Once you get up here, as long as you keep shooting in a rhythmic pattern, you will more than likely kill him before he can kill you. And with that guy defeated, you'll notice that all the outlaws are gone, just like the uh, sheriff asked us to do for him. Isn't that awesome? Anyways, let's go... Let's go get our reward. Note that the bad guys are still hanging around in town. Guess some things never change. Well, let's go talk to the sheriff and go get healed up since I am hurting pretty bad. You know, getting shot with bullets does that to a guy. Now, thank you, masked man. Now he gave us a letter. It, that's a pretty shitty reward, but what are you going to do? Is there a gun shop in this town, too? There he is. I should buy some more ammo. But, first things first, since unlike the mask, the Lone Ranger I know of proper priorities, I realize that dying is more important than having ammo. So, let's replenish the health first. Now, in the gun shop... He just asked what I want to buy. You can buy standard bullets, double damage bullets, TNT that I almost never use, and other types of guns, but there aren't any new ones yet. Uh, let's, uh... Replace ourselves back up to ten clips for now. And now that we have the letter, we can go visit... the guy in this single house down here. If we can walk into it.
and his permanently shadowed self will lower the bridge instead of being an asshole about it. Of course, the game still makes you walk out of the town. I use town very loosely. And, hey, we found a horse! Now we can get on with rescuing the president. Isn't that right? Now his adventurous journey will begin. And what the hell was this? A prologue? A massive waste of time? Oh, I see. An excuse to put this in the game again. And now Tonto will teach us a password. And with that... I will see you guys next time with level 2. Later.